Good morning and hallelujah. Today is Sunday, May 24th, 2020. The Sunday of Memorial Day weekend. So the Lord put it in my heart this morning to just share a couple of thoughts. So here we go. We're going to um, use as our lesson today, 1 Peter chapter 5, starting at verse 6. Humble yourselves, therefore, under the mighty hand of God, so that he may exalt you at the proper time, casting all your cares on him, because he cares about you. Be sober-minded, be alert, because your adversary, the devil, is prowling around like a roaring lion, looking for anyone he can devour. Resist him, firm in the faith, knowing that the same kind of sufferings are being experienced by your fellow believers throughout the world. Satan wants us to be looking back because when you're looking back, it keeps you from looking forward. So I just wanted to um, just take a look at that and, um, you know, dissect it for a little minute. So when we look at um, our conduct and character are everything, the word shows us what that should be. And um, really, it's only when pastors and elders serve as examples to their flock that they'll be warded by the chief shepherd, Jesus Christ. But even the pastors and elders and their responsibility does not take the responsibility away from us, the parishioners, the followers, for lack of a better term. We all are committed to Jesus when we accept him as our Lord and Savior to be obedient and find ourselves chilling out when we get overwhelmed because he promised to never leave us, nor forsake us. And he's not a man that he should lie. So what's the problem? So then we go ahead and we look at um, when we were transferred from Satan's hands. Because, you know, before we met Jesus, we were not living, obviously. So when we left Satan's hands into Christ's kingdom, of course, we're going to be a target. He's always going <laughs> to want to pull us back. And he always pulls us back with things we like. He can't attract us with stuff we don't like. So that's why we got to stay mindful to stay in this word because the word is all powerful. And it ain't nothing he can do if we're standing in it. We got to read it. We got to meditate on it. We got to memorize it. We got to live it. We got to eat that word, the spiritual word, just like we do food so that we can maintain and fight, put on our whole armor, and we don't have nothing to worry about. The devil will be under our feet where he belongs. So then we look at, um, the scripture said he prowls around like a roaring lion looking for food. You know, that's what lions do. They go and they look, you look at them, the animal kingdom pictures, and you can just see them. They're going, and when they see they pray, they go in and they grab it. And that's what the devil is compared to, a roaring lion just going around. Let me see if she weak today. Let me see if he weak today. Oh, yeah. Oh, she getting a little depressed because she's stuck in that house and she want to get out. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I see it. I see it. Oh, she been in them same clothes for three days. Oh, I got her now. She weak. So, you know, the devil's watching. But it's okay, because when he comes to the door, you let Jesus get it. He ain't got no power. He wants to keep us from advancing God's kingdom on the earth. And, you know, he want to destroy us. Let's keep it real. But you know what? He don't have no power. When I pray, I said, Satan, take your hands off me, because I don't belong to you. The Lord rebukes you. In the name of Jesus. And it's like a peace just consumes me. It's like, yeah, now, what else you got? You know? 
So, um, as we finish this up, it says, um, so be firm in the faith. Remember that you can conquer Satan, but only your faith in and the obedience of the word of Christ. Remember when Jesus said, it is finished. That's what it meant. So we find ourselves being faithful and obedient and doing what the word has instructed us to do. Ain't nothing Satan can do. I mean, nothing. So the last thought I'm going to leave with you. Greatness is maximizing your potential for the glory of God and to the good of others. Maximizing your potential. It does not matter how great you get. If you forget, number one, where you came from, number two, who gave it to you, and number three, when you've done it to the least of these, you've done it unto me. God loves his people. And if you're one that can be a blessing to help his people, yes, it's your responsibility to do so. So I hope you're encouraged today. Know that God got us. It doesn't matter what tricks the devil tried to play because we're more than conquerors. God took care of that for us. We're winners. All right. I hope this Sunday is better than ever. I hope you're blessed beyond measure. You have an awesome day and God exceeds your expectations.